So we're going to train chest today. So follow along with us. Give this workout a shot. I think you'll love it. All right. Hello, everybody. John Meadows here. And I'm with my two training partners. It's my wife, Mary, and my partner since 1998, James. What we want on this is we want to be pushing. You want this. What you don't want is when the bar comes or the, the handle comes down in your arm doing this. You don't want that rotation. Very, very hard on your rotator cuff. So always got to make sure you position the seat so that you're driving up and you don't, you're not coming down with this. That's bad, okay? Yeah, that felt better. Yeah. Even with no weight, that felt better on my shoulder. All right, so right now we're just warming up. We typically just work our way up slowly. Um, sets of eight typically. The goal here is to get a pump going and to get everything warmed up, but to really flex the muscle you're trying to train, you know, your chest. I like starting off with this machine because I can just really feel my pecs contract. <clears throat> All right, so I'm putting on my Iron Rebel sleeves. I can't even imagine training chest without them. They, they, they really protect your elbows well. Um, I've gotten, over the years, I've had a lot of tendonitis in my elbows and things like that, so these things are a lifesaver for me. So I wear them every chest. This is set number one. We're still doing sets of eight. We're not taking our sets to failure until we get to our last set. The way we determine our last set is when you can barely get seven or eight. That's when we know, okay, that's heavy enough. So this won't be the failure, but we'll keep climbing the weight. Well, the best thing about the way John trains is he's a big, big, big deal when it comes to form. Um, form and execution. Um, it's all about concentration on that muscle group that we're working on. Um, 18 years, I've never seen him do anything less than that. Um, we never know what we're doing until we come in here. Um, he, he never pre-thinks the workout out which is a good thing because you don't know what to expect and it's always something great. last set um, I put a belt on I don't know that it really helps honestly I just like that tight feeling um, now again we're doing these ultra strict okay we could put four or five plates on there and we could bounce it all day long but the other thing I wanted to mention was watch our elbows they're only coming back to nine degrees you start going back further than that this is what happens very very hard on your rotator cuff so you're gonna see us stopping and flexing that's how all the reps are gonna look I got a feeling we're not going to be able to get eight with this, but we're going to try. This is because this is going to be the last set. Then I'm going to do like four partials. Ready? Go. Shoot. What's the optimal amount of exercises? For chest, I think, I think four is good. Sometimes even three, but with four, you get an exercise to kind of warm up and get a good pump, which we like this exercise. And then we're gonna do a compound movement where we can train explosively. That's gonna be our barbell exercise, which we're doing next. And then our third exercise is something we can really do uh, a high intensity technique type set, so a drop set, things like that, where you really extend the set and it burns like fire, with the goal being to drive as much muscle into the, uh, much blood into the muscles you can. And then once you get that super crazy pump, the fourth exercise is something that should stretch you out. So that's the pattern we're using today, and you'll see that. So next we go to incline barbells. My favorite chest exercise, uh, because it also gives you a nice thick shoulder girdle. Um, 
We're starting with 190. I call this a feeder set. You don't want to go straight to your heaviest weight, but you also don't want to wear yourself out with the lower weight. So we only do like five, six reps with the feeder weight. And then once we get past this set, this is only one warm up set. And then we're going to go right to our sets of eight. And again, we're going to go up to the heaviest weight that we can get with good form for eight reps. Notice he's not going down all the way. That's intentional. We're saving our rotator cuff. Saving our rotator cuff by doing that. Um, and there, the next exercise we do, we do emphasize, a, in the next two exercises actually, we do emphasize a really good full range of motion, but not on this one. And also, we're driving the bar up as hard as we can. So think explosive when you're using this exercise. Right there. Right there. Watch our elbows. See how our elbows are under and are not flared? That's, in my opinion, how you want to do these. You flare your elbows like this, you're asking for trouble with your pec insertion. So just drop your elbow down a little, boom, you're safe. Seats in the world, so you don't have to, have to watch me. Okay. So you can see that eighth rep was really tough. I couldn't have done a ninth one with good form. And that's when you know it's your last set. When you can barely get that seventh or eighth rep like that, that's when you know you're done. So the key to failure isn't when you can't, when you can no longer move the weight, it's when you break form. When your form breaks on that last rep that you barely get, that's failure. A lot of guys get injured thinking it's when you lift the weight for the last, that last rep that you can barely get. Usually the form is crappy and that, that injuries can result from that. All right, so here comes our last set. We've already done two sets of 10 and now we're gonna do a drop set again. The goal is to get as much blood in your chest as you can. Just pump the heck out of it. All right. It's a drop set, Matt. When I drop these, just hand me the seven pounds. Shoot! Boom! 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 There you go. Booms! Booms! Okay.
Come on. Come on. Okay, good, right there. Light weight gets heavy fast. Yes, it does. All you got, all you got, come on. Rep, rep, rep. That's it. That's it. Back to Larry. It's amazing what that light weight does. You'll be all right once I get you on. Okay, come on. Should have gave her 20s. I know, right? <laughs> now she can do these all day. That's all right, just as many as you can do with this. Keep going. Keep going. Yep, keep going. More. More. When the laughing starts, the step's over. Mary just busted on herself. Pound for pound, she's stronger than we are. Right? <laughs> exercise and this is now that our muscles are really pumped this is want to stretch them you notice we're using a pronated grip that's intentional that keeps a lot more tension in your upper pecs and quite frankly I just feel like it's a little safer on my rotator cuff as long as I don't over stretch we're doing three sets of around 10 all three of them are going to failure so that means it might be 10 reps it might be 11 it might be 9 but in that ballpark the last rep should be real hard and you know you can't do any more good reps, you stop. So three sets like that. chest lots more workouts coming make sure you hit the subscribe button and in the comments below try this workout and comment on it or just let us know what you did in your own chest workout thanks have a great day